close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's like Another day, another daily vlog Today is nice and sunny again You know, sometimes I believe Ireland is bipolar As in, our pa the past two vlogs we've done One was scorching weather And then the other was bucketing rain And today's another scorching day uh, I have a bag of football jerseys here that I'm bringing down the road from my house to two lads I coach because I met them yesterday. They were wearing like not the team they supported. So I said I'd bring them down to them, have a nice selection there. Italy, AC Milan, Ajax and Galatasaray and a few others. So uh, hopefully they'll enjoy this nice surprise. Outside again, but I just realised something very important. It is nearly four, it's half three, nearly four o'clock, which means the first episode of the daily vlogs has to go out so that needs to be published also tonight is the night Europa League the last the two last hopefuls for Irish team Shamrock Rovers are 3-2 down from their first legs against Bolislava and Cork City are 1-0 down and are going away massive two massive games tonight I'm pretty sure our air sport are showing one of them I hope they are at least because it's a massive massive night in the Europa League for the sides to keep the Irish flag flying high in Europe one of these sides has to get a result Cork if they get a goal puts them in the extra time that's the way they score two then the other team need to score more than two they just score yeah yeah you can't you kind of catch my drift oh it's just endless possibilities tonight um, well, as I before mentioned the bipolar weather of Ireland we are here playing there's Connell uh, Connell is not in the shot at the moment but he's here and we're going to play some table tennis, red and black paddles for the ball. Let's go, Tom. quite terrible I'm thinking about giving up already uh, I'll give one more go because I really hate this game with a passion a lot of the time because of how terrible I am as it can be this boy just keeps flicking and flicking it with the uh, racket so give it another round that's 4-4 uh, since I was really not concentrating and talking to you guys oh I nearly hit him on the head Well, that is the end of table tennis for today. As you can see, Carl's a much better table tennis uh, than me. Ten tennisser, table tennis guy. I don't really know what you call them. Uh, it's, 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 it's technically a sport. But I don't think so. Connell wins. Uh, everyone give Connell a round of applause. There you go. There you go. Uh, I was pretty terrible there. I will try to improve, but probably not, because I have really no interest in table tennis. I just can't do a lot of exercise at the moment because of the aforementioned heart attack. Finally on the road after the buckle in table tennis. The weather is still quite poor today. Uh, we had sunshine earlier on. Now it's 
damp and gloomy. I really do not know what to expect from this Irish weather at this stage. We are heading down the town right now. Um, I am going into Paddy Tower as I am 18 now. I can finally put on a bet legally. So that's what we are heading to do. I'm a shadow through the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways and on Scaries come with something very, very important. This uh, statue of seals, as you can see in their glory, uh, was this was this the one used to be here behind me was a plaque of a goat's head, and the goat's head, right? Scaries Town, uh, Scaries Town FC and the Rugby Club used the goat as a symbol of their teams. If the seals, I've no idea what the seals represent whatsoever in this town. Um, yeah, there's some of them in the harbour, but were they just put in to make the town look a bit fancier and schmancier than it needs to be? This town is already like the second poshest town on the north side, apart from Malahide, of course. You could, you could not beat Malahide for the poshness. Just left Paddy Power now, which is a pretty nice day in Scaries. Uh, bet for this weekend is another over two and a half goals in the League of Ireland. It is Derry, Derry both Derry, Waterford and Cabin Tealy, no, Waterford and Cove Ramblers even and St. Patrick's Athletic and Bray. Um, Bray seem to always have loads of goals in their game. The only one that I can remember recently is the one we were just at uh, when they played Cork with a 2-0 victory. Uh, Waterford seemed to always get a lot of goals. Derry always seemed to get loads of goals as we saw from the St. Pat's and Derry game. There it was a 2-1 win for St. Patrick's Athletic. There is, you know, here's a close-up close up of the monument actually. There's the monument as Aldrin said. It's, he thinks it's commemorate victims in World War One and Two. I'm not really sure to be honest. There's a Dublin bus, and it is really freaking me out right now being so close to one. Gary's is a seaside town, and this town is infatuated by egg ball, aka rugby. But could there possibly something they're more taken away by? That is pharmacies. On this street alone, there is currently four. And they're opening up a fifth. Five pharmacies on one street. There was what? There's another near Spa, which makes six. There's another near CTs, which is seven. And there is probably another one I'm forgetting about. What town needs seven pharmacies? Actually, that'll be a that'd be an awesome thing to do. You know what? Everyone comment down below the number of pharmacies in your town. I'd love to see this this something beat seven. And I'm not talking about a city like Dublin City, because there's probably loads of pharmacies scattered across the capital. But I'm on about the town itself. Scary says seven. How many has your town got? Leave it down in the comments. How many pharmacies are in your town? And see can you beat the seven of Scaries? That's it, guys, for today's vlog. I know it isn't as long or as probably good as you guys have wanted to be but myself it wasn't well today just with all the goings on that you know of already all our teams are now to europe with rovers winning 5-2 to Boleslav and cork city going out 2-0 away to aek in the end well as an on aggregate the only last one on the night uh to make up for this short vlog uh i am announcing the winner of the sunshine mcguire program and it's going to james joyce congratulations to james um if you pm me on twitter or Instagram, I will get that program out to you as soon as I can. Guys, until tomorrow, remember, give the video a like, share it around on social media, and subscribe.